everyone just got done charging up here at this uh, free charging station next to some Tesla's I use my Tesla adapter here at this uh, Tesla charging station but what I want to talk about is uh, Elon Musk potentially selling his stock shares and what that means for us Tesla stockholders let's check it out while we drive over uh, to my new art installation where we're gonna sell some art we'll talk about it in the car oh I can't wait for my Cybertruck could use a little bit more range. All right. With Tesla stock currently sitting at all time highs, and the recent news, or Twitter news, showing that Elon Musk is considering and says he will abide by the Twitter poll, saying that he will be selling 10% of his Tesla stock shares, or his Tesla stock options. Now, what that could mean is not just the drop of what he sells, but a tremendous push down after all the, uh, you know, fear and, uh, you know, downwards pressure that that pushes onto the stock. So um, my my two cents is, you know, what I love to do and what I've all what I've always wanted to do was sell some shares at the peak and just simply buy them back in after the drop. Um, I've gotten burned too many times doing that. I'm straight diamond hand and hodler now. I don't wanna risk it. I feel on something like this where we kinda of know the news, maybe wouldn't be that bad of an idea to maybe just sell a few shares and buy them back in at the dip. Um, but still, I, and I'm not a stock analyst, don't sue me bro, to do your own due diligence, your own research. Me personally, probably gonna be just holding out. And when the dip occurs, I'll buy a little bit more. That That's another thing. We, In order for people to really take advantage of these dips, we need enough money. We, we need, you know, we need a, a successful lifestyle already and enough extra money to continually invest without having to sell the shares in order to pay off any debts or any of your, you know, livelihoods. So for me, I'm cutting it extremely close right now. Um, but at this point, I have no reason to sell and I'm not going to. Uh, I probably will be buying back in. And then my two cents is that we may see a run up after it drops, we're gonna have major buying pressure, buy back in at that bottom price. Let's just say it's between, I'm gonna to have to say between eight and 900. We'll have more buyers come back in and it'll run back up. And if it does run back up, let's say back up to the 1200 and starts pushing again back to all time highs after Elon Musk sells out, we could then maybe maybe talking about a stock split. Um, that will be another video altogether. I think stock split could happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen unless we come back to this high again and maybe break this high, which is totally possible and will probably happen over time. But how much time do you have, where you're at in your life, how old you are, your financial situations, all these things are going to change you know, your ability to diamond hand. So I just want to say thanks again to all, the, or, you know, congrats to all the Tesla holders and Tesla diamond handers out there. Let's uh, keep diamond handing because I do think there's so much more run up. We're still at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the EV revolution. And we're at the beginning of that S curve. So there's plenty more run up, not even considering robo taxi, home Tesla energy, solar panels, solar shingles, batteries, power walls, mega packs. There's a lot more to go. Uh, so we'll just have to stay tuned and see how it goes. But definitely Monday morning is going to be a ish show to say the least. So again, uh, congrats all the Tesla, sto Tesla stockholders out there. Let's have a great day and uh, peace out. We'll uh, see you on the flip side.
Uh, hey, thanks Tesla for the free charge. Probably another reason why you're going to the moon. Tesla stock to the moon, baby. Thanks for the free charge.